we have, uh, as, as you can fairly understand from the opening shot, but we have started working on the diorama. Well, now the, the paper uh, that we uh, have used to uh, you know, create the land it's drying now, so uh, ideally uh, on wood, uh, it generally takes somewhere between um, uh, 24 to 48 hours to uh, totally, uh, you know, dry and uh, become solid. But um, given we are using PVC, I'm expecting that time to extend a bit. So it's just been about, uh, you know, 10 hours that we have done this. I'm expecting at least uh, 48 hours before uh, we can consider. Um, uh, this done. Uh, however, uh, this this area definitely is not complete yet in terms of uh, adding additional material, uh, and I'll jump to it um, in a moment. Now, uh, before I do that, so uh, you might have noticed that I have drawn some lines uh, uh, on 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 board uh, right before I put those, uh, you know, started putting those papers and started creating the landscape. So let me explain that a bit. So this, the first line, this is going to be uh, basically the beach, the, the, the sand in, in, in both the cases. Uh, this section, including uh, in, in the middle, the small channel here, that is going to be shallow water. And you know, coming down here, this is basically from where the deep water you know, starts. So this is the transition between uh, the shallow and deep water and the deep water starts, uh, the schooner being parked right at the edge of uh, shallow and deep water. So schooners, uh, you know, generally didn't have a lot of draft. So about, uh, you know, six, six to ten feet, uh, depending on uh, the cargo, uh, uh, you know, the weight of the cargo and, and things like that. So um, I would say that this particular schooner is about uh, 10 inches uh, from uh, from the shore or rather you know a, a little less than that's so about eight inches from the shore so scale wise that is a decent distance uh, I I would say it could have been a little larger but overall it's not really that bad uh, for a schooner it is possible to go uh, as close as about uh, uh, 70 uh, feet uh, 60 to 70 feet from from the shoreline so um, that's where it is uh, and we will see how uh, that turns out so our goal is uh, to follow uh, this color scheme right here so uh, you know this is basically sand of course that we will using you will be using uh, sand material there and this is going to be the color here in the middle and deep water is going to have this color in this section so the next is adding uh, additional details for landscape, and that is going to be the stones. So what I've done here is I've actually collected different sizes of um, you know pebbles, uh, and I'm going to use them as is, with maybe with a little bit of different color schemes, uh, adding a little bit of acrylic uh, dry brushing depending on uh, you know where where it is needed. So as you can see, there are different sizes, and I am planning to use them in uh, uh, you know uh, in, in different places. So the big one uh, basically creates the main balancing piece of uh, the 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 landmass. So around this, we are going to have uh, you know at least four uh, palm trees. Uh, so this basically is is the main thing and that's why we have put that absolutely on the edge so this sort of works like a, a backdrop uh, and and blocks the viewers view uh, to focus on things that are in front of it uh, we are gonna have another small um, piece of rock right beside it so uh, what about yeah I think this looks pretty good as well. I haven't, you know, decided the orientations yet, so we will we will go ahead and take a look at that. 
uh, we are gonna have one just one rock right here somewhere here uh, I'm planning to put one in the middle at the intersection of, of the streams uh, we are gonna have one at the far end to block the corner and then we are gonna have one small piece right there uh, you know uh, sort of in the middle of the beach uh, as, as it often happens in real life so I think that is pretty much decent enough I, I, I think uh, any more than this is going to be overkill for for uh, you know a diorama of this size so that's where I'm gonna uh, leave it now uh, I, I will see if I end up adding one maybe uh, just one more uh, rock somewhere uh, in, in the mix but other, other than that this is how the landscape is gonna look like and uh, now it's time to go ahead and uh, you know add rocks to the paper Well, uh, now the paper has dried and uh, the surface is pretty much solid. Uh, the, the rocks are settled as well. So this more or less show um, that, you know, the, the method that I used is pretty effective even on PVC because, you know, it's just been about uh, less than 24 hours and we still have everything, uh, you know, uh, pretty uh, solid at this point, which I didn't expect. I thought it would take a little more time given we are not really dealing with a porous surface here, uh, which helps in evaporation of uh, extra water content of, of this particular process. So the next step is going to be uh, to model the actual earth. So this is basically to fill up the space, right? So now we are going to uh, model the the sand predominantly that's what uh, you know these small islands and beaches are made of now what we're going to do and and you know from our experiment back back to that particular tile again so we are going to have two types of sands so one is uh, going to be a little bigger in grain size so uh, you know something like this that will be on the main section here or you know right after where the beach sort of ends um, on both the uh, surfaces here it's going to be pretty small and then we are going to continue with uh, this method here where uh, you know we are going to use uh, this natural sand uh, texture gel so in the first method here for for uh, the uh, a little larger grain of sand we are going to mix actual sand with this uh, natural sand texture gel and of course we will tint it slightly uh, with uh, unbleached uh, titanium here uh, for this one we are gonna apply uh, this particular uh, texture gel directly and then uh, paint over it when uh, that is dry so for the entire project uh, including uh, the uh, application as well as uh, the painting we are going to use just just two acrylic uh, paints here or two acrylic colors here unbleached titanium and raw sienna uh, we're going to mix them in uh, different shades uh, to create that natural sand texture that we generally see all right so on to applying the sand
I have applied two coats of uh, the sand texture gel. Uh, it's still uh, drying, but I believe uh, we are ready to move on to the next phase. So next we will be uh, starting uh, with the paint. Uh, so the sand, as we uh, had seen in the beginning, uh, we will use two colors, uh, raw sienna and, uh, sorry, not this one, uh, unbleached titanium. Uh, however, uh, along with that, uh, we will also be adding some uh, effect to uh, the you know rocks that are in the middle of the uh, of the sea so so we will be adding a little bit of uh, green and uh, green texture to it to simulate moss uh, along with uh, the green texture uh, we were also going to add what I added uh, to the ship uh, a little bit of uh, you know to, to bring some te texture out of it we are going to add uh, these painted uh, gravel, uh, in scale gravel, uh, to, to give a little bit of a more texture uh, to the moss as well. Uh, then uh, we will start with uh, painting uh, the sea. Uh, we will uh, use primarily two colors. Uh, We're going to use uh, bright aqua green and ultramarine blue. I am also going to take a look at if we can put the turquoise green in the mix and uh, we'll see uh, if, if that works out. So uh, that's the project going forward and um, keep looking.